Hey guys, it's me again. I, uh, I just want to quickly show something that I haven't really found on YouTube at all. And again, I want to share some information on uh, how to make a better filterization for wood gas. And I've been doing kind of some experiments and there's a lot of people, I don't know, for some reason there's not many videos on out there on filterization. It's only, you know, people use a lot of sawdust and really that's about it. So I was in the kitchen, as if, you know, that I am right now. And uh, I'm just washing some dishes, and I got an idea about something. Well, I can make a water scrubber out of this sink drain quite easily. All I need to do is get a water pump, and basically it sprays water down. Just like that. And when it's directly over top, I mean the water just basically flows down in there real easy, as you can see. So if I make something like that, how will that interfere with the wood gas? Will it clean it or not? And the experiments that I have done, well, I have to admit, it works pretty damn good. And I'll show you that outside, how I put this together. Alright guys, so now I'm in the garage again, and uh, basically right now you're looking at a 3-inch uh, ABS pipe. Okay. Basically, the same stuff that I made my filters with, right? So what I did was, I had the idea of the, uh, the water scrubber this way. And my original idea worked great. I basically put a sink drain inside here, which works perfectly. It fits absolutely great. And took a rubber coupling on here and just sat it on top and tightened it up. Worked great. It held all the you know, the, the wood chips or scrubbers or, you know, anything uh, sawdust, it held it in. But this time, I'm, gonna, I'm using the idea of a water scrubber. Now, as the water again hits on top of here, okay, it splashes outward and then drains on the sides. And it worked great. Like, I've been trying this now and I'm getting awesome results from this. Uh, it's cheap. This is a. I think this is a great way, and I haven't seen anyone do this. And I'm really happy to share ev to everybody um, this idea that I have. I thought it's great. It's cheap and it works. So what I was, was was I I took this idea and and put it onto my uh, filterization. Okay, so I'm just gonna push this back just a hair, and right now, as you can see. It's still the same, and, and but slightly different. As you can see right here, you know, I used to have metal scrubbers here, uh, you know, wood chips, and then I had sawdust, and I have my paper filter right here, okay? Now that that's all changed, I basically have water, okay, coming up through here, down and right where that rubber coupling is right there I have a uh, sink drain and then coming further down I have another sink drain and then if you look further down okay the the water drains down into a reservoir right here and then the gas moves to the left and just in case if the vacuum is too strong like the water will be sucked here there's another drain for that too that goes into this reservoir, which is a three inch ABS pipe again too. So this last one here uh, has nothing really much in it. All I have is uh, these two have uh, uh, stainless steel scrubbies in it. And this is the only one with the water. The reason is I have it that way because the suction from the vacuum is, is very strong that I have in there, okay? What I've done is I used a shop vac, okay, so here, I'll just show you this quickly. I used the old shop vac. This is my new shop vac, which is right here, and basically I made myself a little box, okay? I put the old shop vac inside there, and I hooked it up to my Variac, and it's airtight, it's silicone sealed, and uh, basically I needed something to have more suction. The problem I was having before on the top, as you can see, I had 
three fittings. So I wanted uh, water to come down that one, water to come down this one, and water to come down here. But unfortunately, the vacuum basically was sucking water into my whole system, and I thought to myself, well, that sucks, that's not going to work. So I wondered, well, let's see if I close this one off and close this one off, but only have one, and it's amazing how much um, this water scrubber works. It works absolutely amazing. So basically, the wood gas comes here, the water from the water pump comes down, okay, and there's that water or that uh, rubber coupling with the sink drain. The water splashes outward, the gas gets cleaned, comes down, and then it gets another second cleaning with another scrubber, a sink drain, and then the water just drains out. So sometimes, you know, the water may come this way, okay, to the next one, and I have metal scrubbers going up, but um, basically there it would drain into the reservoir as well. So the gas would come up here, all the way up, and then come left, and then back down again. And if there's any condensation or anything like that, I, uh, I put a little jar on the bottom. And then the gas would come into the paper filter, and then come out as clean as dandy. So it works really well. Um, one thing I have, all it is, you can get this too. It's a small little water pump down there. I don't know if you can see that. Small little water pump, and it's a 120 volt, or you can get them usually at about, you know, a 12 volt uh, pump as well. Now, because Canada can get pretty cold in the winter time, uh, what I've done was I added water and as well as antifreeze. So. Antifreeze, I put a little bit inside there, and it keeps it from getting frozen solid, which really works awesome. To drain the system, well, I just open this uh, little ball valve, and it basically drains out, and I can put it in a bucket, and then, and then uh, put it somewhere um, to dispose of. But uh, I would dispose of it somewhere else, not just like draining it somewhere out, so um, animals can lick at it I wouldn't want that so uh, but anyways uh, yeah if anyone's ever using that just dispose of uh, antifreeze uh, safely just so that you know if, um, the little critters can't uh, drink that because it's sweet right so anyways um, I could drain it or I could drain it right there on the bottom left there and uh, clean the whole system out if I wanted to so this is the system it works great it works fabulous um, I highly recommend it to any uh, other people. I know a lot of people say shop vacs are not good for wood gas, but I tell you, when you're sucking a lot like liquid and wood gas through the system, I just hooked up a, I hooked up a, uh, a, a vacuum cleaner, a shop vac to this, and hooked it up to a, you know, a little variac over there. And uh, it seemed to do it a really, really good trick. But it's simple, it's cheap, and it works. That's the main thing. And I'm here to share that with anybody who's wondering, uh, like I always wondered why there was not many videos out there on this wood scrubbing stuff. But it seems to work really well. Um, I'm going to continue on with this video, and I'm going to start this thing up, and I'm going to prove to you that it's I've got clean gas. There is nothing but clean gas that comes out of here, and uh, it works great. Anyways, take it easy, and I hope this helps anybody that uh, simply a sink drain like this can produce clean gas. <laughs> Thanks, guys.